Hi friends. I don't know if I want to start this right now, but I can't work on a video um, because it's downloading and I can't, it's not working right now. So I can't work on a video that I need to edit. I've already like straightened up the house. We've already got Christmas all taken down. Got Ashley's usual messes cleaned up over here. Um, got this all cleared off. I am trying really hard to keep this area clean because I can't stand this table being used as an office. I've got stuff to donate going down here and those little fake champagne glasses. But this is also what I've been, been on the phone all morning. So I gotta take this call, hang on. You guys, it's been an hour, an hour since I was talking to you in that last. And I don't know if I have time to do what I wanted to do today. I've been on the phone with State Farm four times today and Tesla Station three times. Because this video, I want to be about all of this, we aren't gonna go into that. So we're gonna start and it's very overwhelming to me. I actually might start and organize her area right here. It's unfortunate because I've got the advent calendar to deal with over here. And the advent calendar has to have all the pieces pulled apart per day. Oh, do I even want to do this today, guys? <laughs> January 2nd and I was motivated. Let's get this stuff done. I might actually ignore that corner. I might actually just start with you guys over here. Um, mainly what I, here, let me, let me just show you what my issues are. Because it's not, Ashley's issues are a completely different issue. If you are new here, Oh my crap, this is, this is the issue. My wonderful, sweet, darling, overly ambitious, messy 10 year old is, she's the problem for most of this mess. This, this is her cart that we got to organize. Does it look organized? No, it is not. We're gonna make her that problem. We're gonna give her that problem. My mess that I would like to clean up is right here. Now, some would say it's not messy. Some would say it's pretty organized. But if you look closely, what is this you say? I don't know. I don't, I don't, oh, that's candy. That's a Snickers wrapper. So I, I, that's candy. This right here, let's see. You're gonna see with me. It's chickens for the chicken game that I played with my family. <laughs> An Oculus that's not used. Should I donate it? Should I try and sell it? I've got the packaging for it, which is another problem because we save all the packaging. Do I need all? Oh, that's an entire cubby with empty packaging. There's nothing in any of those boxes. Nothing. Do I need anything that's in any of these folders? Likely not. Is there a computer in that box? Likely not. Do I do Project Light? No. This has been here forever. Does this computer work? No, that does not. Am I going to read any of these books? Probably not. I want to. I just don't read books in person anymore. I just, I've actually read, anyway. Well, that's where that book is, Ballad of the Songs and Songbirds and Snakes. I wondered where that book was. That's what we just saw that at the theaters. <laughs> Didn't know where that book was. I knew I had it. I need to donate it. Just, I'm just gonna donate it. And <sighs> even have a box ready to go for the stuff to donate. Um, I can donate book for Ashley's cheer fundraiser. So that will be a separate box. Um, but I am also gonna go through all of these bins. Mild, they are all very organized. I just wanna make sure that as kids have used them, they've put things back, like that's all spray paint. I'm just going to glance at them, but I might take them off the shelves um, in general, just to know that I've worked through that box. Oh, this is all, oh, and these are still hidden. These are Michelle's um, creations that we've had to hide from when we had the dog here. This by no means is like a very, um, coherent organization video. I'm just gonna take you along my day. So let's, I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm not going to do like a time lapse by any means. I'm just gonna keep you updated on the process along the way. It's all overwhelming and I need to just start somewhere. To help motivate me, I'm gonna turn on our beloved. We're gonna turn on Taylor. Could turn on the Alexa. But somehow this, I don't know where the lid is. There it is. I don't know. This just is the right vibe. We bought this yesterday as just a little fun something or other. I need to see, I need to create a space for this to happen. I need to be able to put the record down and open it up and pull one out. Isn't she so cute? Okay, we are three bins in. One of them is going to be completely empty. I have gone through these two bins. They're really easy. This is just punches. 
This is also gonna be an inventory for you guys, how I do my system. These are all the punches that I use, um, crafts or whatever. This is all packing tape and tape, and I will be adding to this pile. So what I'm gonna try and do is make something for craft supplies and like piles and office supplies. Because a lot of the time, like everyone's like, I don't know where the bucket is, even though they're labeled, literally labeled like spray paint, which we'll just do this one really quick because this is all just spray paint and, and paint markers for cars. So this one doesn't need to have anything done to it, but I'm gonna put that in craft supplies because it is. It is. <laughs> but when I'm done with all of that and organizing each section, I'm gonna wipe them all off, wipe out the cubbies, and then I'm gonna try and make like all office type stuff on the one side over here. And then maybe this is all crafting here, um, but I need to adjust and move things and, and empty this kind of stuff out so I can make it cohesive. All of my things up here, these are all just photos. Those have all been organized. Likely not even gonna pull that stuff down. We're gonna start on, <laughs> these ones are the ones that are a little scary bucket that I'm currently going to work on. And I think maybe Abby started this. Abby and Ashley. <sighs> nail polish. I don't use nail polish myself anymore. It looks like they might have decluttered this a little bit. Um, I've gotten rid of... No, they haven't. I'm going to go through this really quick. We might not have much left when I'm done with it. Um, but we're going we're gonna to see. Because a lot of these little ones I'm not going to keep anymore. But these gel polish ones are good. And maybe that's just what I'm going to have to test out myself here at home. And see if I'm allergic to this type of gel polish or what I'm allergic to. But I'm going to work on this one. All right, I'm going to go through these bins um, here in a minute. But this is one example of this is labeled. This bin here is labeled label maker fitting because that's what it is. But I also have my printer ink stored in here and we've lost it in the past because it wasn't labeled. So ironically used said label maker to make a printer ink label to go on the outside. Then that makes sense. So I'm going to put that onto that. I will show you what's in all the other buckets here in just a minute. Um, I'm going through this art bucket. This is like a kid's art bucket. Thrown away a few things, um, donated a few things, trying to decide what to keep, what not to keep because I have another bucket of oh, kids crafts. Do I have another one? I have another craft supplies bucket. This is fabric supplies. Anyway, I'm trying to decide if I have another bucket that I can put this stuff in, but I did kind of scoot all of these beads to one corner um, and I might just put those <laughs> in this mess. To be fair, this is her cute little um, bracelet holder. Do they all end up on the bracelet holder? No, they don't, but we'll make progress over time. For now, I'm gonna empty these into a bucket. Not this little ducky guy, he can get thrown away. Put these ones into a little bin for her to use and then decide if I'm gonna keep this. She likes working on this kind of stuff and it's helpful to already have it um, and not have to go buy it every time she wants to work on a little project. I don't mind her having the creativity. So I'm just gonna see if I can get rid of this whole bucket um, and clear out some space here and just kind of reorganize. Okay, did in fact empty out that one into this Craft Lies bucket. I kind of had them separate separate it out when Ashley was younger, keep her in her own little bucket of supplies. She's older now, she can handle using them all. And we've gone through a lot of them. So now we have an empty one and a really full one. This kind of bucket drives me nuts. I don't mind having my mic for my camera that I, it doesn't attach to the current, current mic that I have or the current camera that I have. But like, when is the last time we used any of these cables? I just, I'm gonna leave this one on his desk. <laughs> This drives me nuts. This drives me nuts. I'm gonna put this one down here. Not that he's gonna, this is this is how he deals with it. And see if we can have a conversation about it later. Okay, we're making progress. I'm waiting to find, oh, this is office supplies. That's where that goes and that's garbage. Got two garbages going on here. Where is my office supply bucket? It's probably on the bottom there. Found another kid craft bucket. It was filled with all of these not in a bag. You can see it was like this. Then all of these empty bags and used pipe cleaners. Got some boondoggle. I mean, that, that's what we grew up calling it is boondoggle. And then just a leftover craft kits that don't have all the pieces to it. So I either might donate the book and then throw the extras away or like this one might have like enough to donate it. I don't know what it is though. So I'm just going through this getting out like cording that's still good. She can make things with that um, and throwing away things that are just garbage. But like we can donate this kind of stuff. So I'm going to put this into that other craft bucket. Um, but also 
I have found lots of bead supplies to give her all of these. Then these are all keychains. I found two bags of letters. She loves letter cubes, so it's coming in handy. I'm just, I'm over this little dinky stuff. This is another one of those keychains. I will just, it goes in this bag right here. I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag for it, but um, in fact, I should just use one of these ones that I'm gonna throw away. Oh, and there's little buckles for the other cording. So I'm just gonna go through this really quick and we're gonna get rid of another bucket. Making progress, I've got a whole bunch of office supplies thrown away from this bucket right here. I had a whole bunch of composition notebooks, notebooks, comp compress it down to just these plastic, like the actual like hard plastic folders they can use for project. Empty notebooks that are still new or barely, barely used. I've got two clipboards in here. I've got sheet protectors and Abby's whiteboard as long as well as a little math book. I don't know where to put these two. I actually don't know where this one came from. Sign language, which we have two of the four kids that know sign language and I'm wondering if Chelsea will will want to learn as her language credit for high school. And this is how much we've gotten done so far. I actually can put, nope, I'm gonna, this is my stickers. I actually want a whole like spot for that. I used to have it on my desk. There's no room in that little slot over there anymore. So it might get its own bin because I have now three empty ones. I'm gonna knock over this whole thing behind me. This is another project for another day. <laughs> I, to be fair, I'm gonna help Ashley with it because I am creating the space to be able to like organize it a little bit and I'm giving her more things to need to organize. So, but we're making progress. We're doing pretty good here. I don't need to do anything with this laminator bucket. That's all that's in here, except there's more ink. My goodness sakes. See, this is the problem. Is that then it gets bought and put away in the wrong place. So now I need to find, oh, it's right there. Hopefully it's the same number, 67. See, I knew we had some. This is the problem, gotta label it. I was just saying the other day that I wish I had another washi tape holder <laughs> for new ones that I got. I do have one. Where did that go? Dropped one. So here's the washi tape. I just wish I could get it at my desk, but that's okay, these are the extras. Um, I'm working on this little cubby here. This is twine, so I don't think I have to do anything with that one. And my lid, where did my lid go? Where is the lid? Okay, I've already done some of these, but we're getting rid of the boxes. I don't know how many other people keep the boxes. We do, you don't need them. Make sure all the cords are out, all the extras. You don't need the boxes, people, nothing. Nothing in here we need to keep. They're just fun. It's fun when you get them. What's in here? They feel really heavy. They feel like there's something important in there, but there's not. Okay, I think I've done it. I have a huge mess on my hands, let me walk you through. Now it's like the stress of putting it all back together. It should go quick. I do need to wipe out all of the cubbies because they're all pretty dusty. I'm gonna wipe out the tops of all the bins themselves and then I will show you what's in every one of them because I think that's kind of interesting how I organize things. There's big ones over here still on the thing but they're organized, I'll show you that. There's also stuff that isn't in bins that will just go back onto the shelf, likely tucked into the corner over here. This is electronics. I'm gonna deal with that with Jason another day. I'm not mad about it. I think we can get rid of stuff. I don't think we need to hang on to cords for 20 years. So <laughs> that's all I'll say about that. Three empty buckets. This one has the office supply folders and stuff in it. And then over here we have recycling. Uh, it's all right here. There's a ton to recycle. One empty bucket here, but it is not like all the others. I'm a OCD, like things all to be the same kind of a gal. This is donate, but I can only donate the books themselves, the actual books to Ashley's fundraiser. The rest gets donated to just straight to like a Goodwill. Ours is called Value Village. So I have to separate this box out, but I need another box. So it's gonna stay here for now. And then we have, I'm not donating this. I'm just keeping her out here. <laughs> this is all of the little cute little animals that Michelle made us. I'm just keeping it out here. And then that bucket there has some craft supplies that I'm donating. I'm going to go get a towel, wipe this all up. We'll show you what's in here. Then we're gonna put it all back on and then we'll figure out what's left to get organized. Starting projects like this helps me or makes me forget to eat lunch. Not helps me, makes me forget. So I'm gonna grab this to eat really quick while I gather up, recycle. I'm not gonna recycle it in this bag. I'm just gonna get it to the recycling can. 
but it's garbage day. So I'm not going to be able to get into the can yet until it comes. But this mess, it just causes me stress. So we're going to do this. Okay, really the bins are cleaned off. We have them organized in different sections. I don't know how they're going to go onto the wall, but we'll figure that out here in just a second. I'll show you, start on the ones that are on the shelf here. This is my, what do we have down the bottom? Fabric buckets are down here on the bottom and they have fabric. Actually that's yarn. So we'll put that one in the yarn bucket. This fabric bucket is one of my favorite projects that I did with fabric is I put them all on poster boards. So they're all organized and if I ever get a sewing machine again, I can maybe make something. <laughs> for now, I just use it as like extra supplies for little projects that I don't actually have to sew for. This bucket here is my office supply bucket with the bigger stuff. So that's what's in that one. In these two, I've got my laminator in there. It really takes up a lot of the space and the laminator sheets. And then in this one, I have um, silhouette supplies, but I'm kind of thinking my silhouette is up here. I'm kind of thinking of trying to sell that because I don't actually, it's a cameo silhouette. I don't actually use it. And this is what time of day it is. <laughs> I, it's, she's home and I still have this project to do. I know, I'm sorry. Your shirt's dirty, just so you know. Yeah. Get some food and then go get in bed. No, I'm gonna do oh, you have homework now. Welcome back to yeah, school. I no, I know you just haven't had homework for a month <laughs> almost. Okay, we're gonna tackle these buckets. In general, these are craft supplies in these buckets here. These are office supplies in that stack of four. And then these are paint. <laughs> these two on the top are spray paints, and the bottom one is nail polish. I do have one more bucket of actual like tool paint, but Chelsea has that up in her room. She just paints all the time, so she keeps that bucket. So let's just go through and I will show you. Somewhere down here is my yarn, and we'll put the yarn away. This is ribbon, pretty self-explanatory. This is my diamond art kit supplies with all the excess and um, current working on projects. This is, I'm not gonna open it up, craft supplies. This is, you can see me adding to this. It's all the extra doodads. And I think the bottom one, oh, there's my yarn. So I can put my yarn in this guy. So, and we're gonna put those on the shelf. And I've got one extra diamond kit that hasn't been opened yet. So it's gonna go next to that actual bucket. This one here, diamond art. This one here is literally punches. These are my hole punches, different sizes. This is craft tools. So all the tools needed to work on craft projects. I did get rid of one little bin that had these little brad um, attachments in it, but it technically goes with like tools because I use my little punch to like my brad puncher. Um, so it works for them to be in here and I'll probably see them more often and think to use them than in the bin. It's that blue lidded one over there. Then when they were in there, I didn't see them to use it as often. I could actually use this in my little notebook, my note taking, but that's what's in there. Next up is my sewing bucket. It needs to be organized a little bit better, but you know, for another day. It's all thread, needles, pins, all that kind of stuff. And fabric crafts. I actually have some crafts that are in here that are done, like these little banners that go on my trucks that are out there. Um, I have some for like different seasons and I have like the Seahawks one and 4th of July, but also little other fabric things that I've made in the past, garlands and whatnot, um, and then some extra fabric pieces that are just small enough to not fit into the other fabric box. Next up, if you've seen this one, label maker and ink tape. We didn't add anything to that, so we're doing pretty good. This one is my office supplies, pretty self-explanatory, all the extras that I need just in the off chance I run out from my desk. And this last one is cards. If I have a birthday card I need to give someone to, I actually have some in my desk as well um, that I could probably put in here. That's where my cards are. And then these last two I've already explained. Spray paint and nail polish. Okay, the last bucket is for miscellaneous chickens and a bag of candy I found very last. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be for Christmas somewhere along the lines. They had plenty for the Christmas party, plenty for uh, stockings. So that's just gonna be my bribery stash. Movies or good behavior or whatnot. But we're gonna put that, well, we'll take the kids craft label off. Maybe I'll leave that on so that no one knows what's in there. This is the state 
of the shelves. We have empty shelves. Makes me kind of want to take the top one off, but kind of not, because it is useful. I wouldn't have enough space for those things up there. These are all actual like legal documents up there. I'm not doing anything with those. So there are some empty spaces, you know, for now. I'm gonna put the Oculus on top of this guy, hide what's in there. It'll get found. My kids will find it, I promise you. It's tucked away, put away, not in, in a garbage bag. So that's where we're at. I wanted to have all craft items down one shelf and then all of these ones are all fabric and big bins, but it didn't work out that way. But I like that these ones are all the same along here and I don't get into them as much because likely what I'm going to do is that. Just scoot that over, have that out of the way so that eventually her cart can move over here. What I might end up doing is moving some of these up and giving Ashley some space. We've got some extra buckets here. I'm gonna help her, not tonight, because she has cheer. I'm gonna let her rest when she gets home. Maybe I will work on this for her to organize some of her space. She has taken over this little corner. She likes to have her stuff right here, but maybe some of her excess supplies that don't go on the cart can go into a bin and we can put it on here and then she can get it from here when she wants to. And the award for the most weirdest, that wasn't correct grammar, thing that I found on my journey today was a mold of Kaylee's teeth for a retainer. Don't need that. <laughs> Trash. All right, I've had lunch. I feel much better getting all that done. I had lunch, it feels good. So I'm starting as I watch a movie. I'm trying to just chill, relax, enjoy some time before I have to take her to cheer. cheer. Take her to cheer. <laughs> so I'm working through her little cart here. I've already organized this one into the perler beads that you like iron and melt. And I'm working through creating a bin with her supplies and tools. She tends to use my nail tools. That's her friend starting to call. So I'm trying to, oh my goodness sakes, just answer the call. I'm trying to work through this kind of stuff and work my way that direction. Sometimes I can organize it a little bit better, kind of think through it a little bit differently than Ashley can. So I'm just giving her a little boost, um, putting things here that are in the right containers um, and then we can decide what to do with it after. Like this guy right here is not in a container. We like to have them in containers because then it's easy to like know exactly what you have to work with. You know what I mean? So I don't want to sort by letter, but I know she has almost the exact same ones right here. But these ones aren't all, there's not very many beads, but they're more letters. So I'm gonna take these guys and add it to this bucket of letters, but I'm gonna take all the beads out, the regular beads, because I have this little guy here, this little car carrier case thing that just has beads in it. So we're, we're gonna, I'm enjoying my show. So I'm just gonna sit and do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open that house school. Your first day back to school this year. I'm tired. Give me a break. You're just tired. And you're gonna be really tired tonight after cheer. So we're gonna come home, take a shower, go to bed. Yeah. Okay, I am making progress. I have all beads in the correct places in all these little containers. I've got more containers in there, more containers down here. <laughs> Trying to decide what goes on the cart to get stored over there and what goes on here. I'm kind of thinking this. I don't know. See, look at all those like letter beads. She does use the letter beads a lot. She's not doing these ones these days. Maybe I'll leave that one. She's not doing that one. She's doing a lot of this stuff. So maybe we'll put this stuff down here on here. See, she's got letter beads in there and in here. The girl does not need any more beads. Okay, I've gotten all but three numbers undone <laughs> from the puzzle, which is, it was relaxing because I'm watching this movie on Netflix. You don't need this for today. No, but I'm just gonna put it in my bag so I don't forget it for competition. Well, we're gonna need it to get out for a competition, like to get ready ahead of time. I'll just put it in there because I need the That's, chopsticks. Okay, like. okay, great. Ready to go to cheer? Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> oh, I forgot to have that candle going this whole time. It's been going all day. All right, I am going to end with you here. I'll wipe off my counter here as soon as I get home and finish that puzzle. I am done here in the office. <laughs> yeah, you're the one who get right down in there in the spray. <coughs> oh, I'm not doing any more tonight, so I'm gonna sign off with you guys. I like how clean and uncluttered it is. I have her cart ready to go and organize. Organize her little cubicle. This is her little space. And I have her little tailor bucket back there behind all of her bracelets, which I thought was kind of cute. The space is cleared off.
Okay, I'm gonna sign off with you guys tonight. Woo Thank you for joining me as I organized this little section of my room. I love my little space in here that I have the ability to kind of store everything like this. I have dreams of having the Ikea shelves that have the doors on them so we can close the mess. <laughs> but for now, I am happy that I have those. I'm going to take Ashley to cheer and we will see you guys next time. Putting my little frame. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get pictures ordered. Um, for some of these frames that I don't have pictures for. So, see you guys next time.